Blaming societal structures instead of human nature for foster violence and negative behavior Historical context of human cooperation throughout history, human beings have demonstrated a remarkable capacity for cooperation and altruism. Early human societies thrived on collaboration and mutual support. Examples of communal living, shared resources, and collective child-rearing are abundant in anthropological studies of hunter-gatherer societies. These cooperative behaviors were essential for survival and demonstrate that human nature is inclined towards working together rather than engaging in violence and competition. Psychological research indicates that humans have a natural propensity for empathy and prosocial behavior. Studies show that even infants exhibit signs of empathy and altruism. For instance, research by Felix Warnikin and Michael Tomasello found that toddlers as young as 18 months old are willing to help others, even when it requires effort. This innate tendency towards empathy suggests that negative behaviors are not inherent but are influenced by external factors. 3. Impact of social and economic inequality Socioeconomic inequality and poverty create environments where negative behaviors are more likely to emerge. When resources are scarce, and individuals or groups are marginalized, survival instincts can lead to actions that might be perceived as violent or unethical. However, these actions are responses to the pressures and constraints of their environment, not reflections of their inherent nature. Addressing inequality and providing opportunities for all members of society can significantly reduce these negative behaviors. Influence of social structures and systems Social structures and systems can either promote cooperation and peace or foster violence and competition. For example, the prisoner's dilemma in game theory illustrates how competitive structures can lead to negative outcomes, even when cooperation would be more beneficial. In contrast, cooperative structures, such as those found in successful communal living experiments and cooperative businesses, demonstrate that when the system rewards collaboration, positive behaviors prevail. 5. Cultural conditioning and learned behaviors Many behaviors perceived as violent or negative are culturally conditioned rather than innate. Children learn behaviors from their environment, including family, media, and societal norms. In cultures that glorify violence or aggressive competition, individuals are more likely to adopt these behaviors. Conversely, cultures that emphasize peace, cooperation, and mutual respect tend to produce individuals who embody these values. This variability across cultures indicates that human nature is malleable and heavily influenced by social conditioning. 6. Examples of positive change through social reform Historical examples of social reform demonstrate that changing the social structure can lead to a significant reduction in violence and negative behavior. The introduction of social safety nets, educational reforms, and community support programs have consistently shown positive outcomes. For instance, crime rates tend to drop in communities where economic opportunities and social support systems are robust. These changes underscore that the environment and social structures play a crucial role in shaping behavior. 7. Neuroscientific evidence Neuroscientific studies have shown that the human brain is wired for empathy and social bonding. The mirror neuron system, for example, allows individuals to understand and share the feelings of others, facilitating empathy and cooperative behavior. When social structures support these natural inclinations, positive behaviors are reinforced. However, in environments where survival is threatened, and competition is intense, these neural systems can be overshadowed by the need to protect oneself, leading to negative behaviors. Conclusion Those negative behaviors arise from the game of survival within violent social structures, rather than from an inherently evil human nature, is supported by historical evidence, psychological research, and sociological studies. By addressing the root causes within social structures and creating environments that promote equality, cooperation, and empathy, society can foster positive behaviors and diminish violence.
This perspective shifts the blame from human nature to the systems and structures that shape our actions, offering a more hopeful and actionable path forward.